Okay, now I'm going to unbox the 7300. Um, this is the real unboxing. I've not touched this yet, but I'm planning to go out and um, try it with some birds tomorrow at the bird park. Surefire method to see birds and test the lens. So, okay, uh, open this. The lens cloth is provided here. And then you open up the flap. So I've always joked to the people at Fujifilm that um, their cameras come in eight cartons, which they think is really cool. So I think it's good too because it's recyclable, doesn't use too much packaging material. So we have here our eight carton of a lens. So here we have the hood. Uh, in a separate plastic, right? I don't use hoods very much. Um, I like I like it when there's lens flare. So I'm just gonna put the hood aside. I actually have a collection of hoods that take up too much space in the closet. And the other bag, uh, we actually have the lens. See, it's not too big. It's not too long. It's about the size of my hand, medium-sized hand. This is how it looks. It says it's water resistant. Let's look at the serial number. It says 57. So this is unit number 57 that's coming out from the factory. At 70, it's this long. At 300, it's going to come out twice the size. Just for the purpose of um, shooting birds tomorrow, I also uh, borrowed a tele converter from Gerald. Thank you, Gerald. Gerald's from Gerald's our technical go-to man in Fujifilm Singapore. So this is Gerald's um, personal teleconverter. It's two times TC and weather resistant. How you would put it on, Ooh, do, it's to fit um, the part where the magnifying glass is. And you fit it um, into the glass works of the actual lens. There's actually a magnifier inside, which would be way better than if you were to crop uh, digitally. So this is an optical modification and if you were to crop in Photoshop, that's a digital modification uh, which means that of course we get lesser pixels and we get a worse uh, image quality. The way the light actually falls through the lens and then into the teleconverter before it reaches the body um, has changed. You may need more light uh, to fulfill the same requirement for the same picture. So you either um, bump up your ISO, reduce your aperture, um, reduce your, uh, your speed uh, or you wait for a really sunny day. So what I'm going to try tomorrow is to uh, modify my film simulation settings um, to get it rather precise and get everything straight out of camera if possible. And I mean if possible that I, I don't itch to edit them very much.